For most of us, when our plate slides away, our garbage is out of sight, out of mind. That is why marketing director Brooke Hall has a plan to make ship students see the truth. For one meal period, we're going to have the dish room empty the leftovers into these big, clear bins. Um, and then myself and my intern are going to do a table outside of Reasoner and a table outside of Kiner with the waste. In one meal period, this is what you're wasting. Director of Campus Dining Services, Mick Iola, explains that it's all to raise awareness for the Clean Plate Initiative. Uh, Project Clean Plate is a dining service program that communicates to students the damage that's done to the environment when they are wasteful with their food. The people as a rule, when, when they're put in an environment where they can get as much as they want, they eat with their eyes. Sort of like a, a little kid in a candy shop, they're going to go crazy and grab a little bit of every piece of candy. They get more than they really need, and what happens is it gets thrown out. It goes into the landfills, and it stays in landfills for decades before it breaks down. And, and you know, in our case, we we're talking about 50, 60,000 pounds every single week. When Project Clean Plate is enacted, there is noticeably less garbage. We'll usually drop between 5 and 7%. Uh, I believe that translates into about uh, 2,500 pounds per week. That is why the project has gained support from students like Sarah Montaner. I think it's a good idea because I think that a lot of food is wasted. I try to finish everything I take. <laughs> By taking only what you're going to eat and turning in a clean plate, students can save the environment and save the university some money. Money that goes to a good cause. And it's given to uh, the Feed a Friend program. Last Thanksgiving for Feed a Friend, we fed uh, about 104 families. Because we can help the people with the money we save. For SUTV News, I'm Anna Kerstetter.